Good afternoon traders. This is an update on my swing trade with SPXL, which is an S&P 500 ETF. So if the S&P goes up 1%, this goes up three. If the S&P goes down 1%, this goes down three. So I've been in this trade now since July 20th. I got in back here. I was in a trade previous to this. Uh, I caught this run here, got in back here, got stopped out on the 50 MA for a profit. And then my plan says, as soon as the daily candle makes a new high after that happens, then I get back in for the next trade. So that ended up happening the next day. And I only took three shares on that position. That was based on a calculated risk versus how much I wanted to, how much was I willing to lose from the previous trade basically. And I, I didn't want to lose any more than 50% of my previous win. And it, it's unlikely, but it does happen that you get stopped out on the same day that you enter on the uh, SPXL ETF. So I calculated how much I would have lost if I would have got stopped out that day. And that's what I based my position size on. And that came out to three shares. Now what happened is the price continued higher and just uh, continued on and finally started to come back down here in mid-August and look like it was going to stop me out again, again for a profit. And I would have to get in on the next trade again. But what ended up happening was the price came all the way down near the 50 MA, but never touched it. So I never got stopped out. So that's when I decided to add to a winning trade as opposed to adding to a losing trade, which is something you should never do. Add to a winning trade. And because I only had three, three shares in my original position, I was only able to add one more share because, again, that's uh, percent wise, that's a huge chunk that's adding 33% more to the original trade. So that what that does is moves your position size up considerably. So my original position was at 105.26 and now it's at 107.90. The other stipulation that I made before I took that additional share was is it going to make me red if I get stopped out immediately? And the answer was no, because I got triggered here on this daily candle. So if it came down and stopped me out by touching the 50 MA, I still would have made roughly uh, about $3 per share on that trade. So what the point is, is I would have been in the profit even if the idea didn't work out. So I wasn't really uh, putting a risk on the table or risking any more. Um, I was just going to give back some profits, but it was a risk worth taking because the SPXL is pretty strong overall and, and seems to want to continue in this uptrend. And that's what it did. So the trade is working out so far. We have that additional share. Our position size moved up and now we are following the 50 MA and it's actually higher than this today. So that's where it was yesterday. This is the most fun part of swing trading is getting to move that stop loss up. So we're going to do that right now. And then we'll take a look at the spreadsheet and see what's happening so far. So uh, today the 50 MA is at 1501. So let's move that up to 1501. There we go. So we were at 1459 and now we're at 1501. So what is that? 42 cents. So if I want to move this in anticipation for Monday, no matter what happens on Monday, whether this thing gaps down, opens up red, whatever, this 50 MA line is going to continue moving up. So if you want, you can always move it in place just in case you're not here at the market open. Um, and, and that way you're ready. If I mean, it's not going to stop me out I, unless something really unexpected happens. It's very unlikely that it's going to move that far in one single day. It just never does that. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up for anticipation of Monday. And then I can always check it as soon as I get a chance. So we're going to go up to, um, I said 42 cents. So 115.43. And we can punch that stuff in our trading journal, our, our spreadsheet and see what that does. So we were at 114.59. I have the four shares here and the original three shares to compare. You can see that the p &L is getting very close. 115.82 is where adding that one share will start to equal and then it'll surpass of course uh going forward the additional share will be making us more money than if we just stuck with the three shares as the price breaks above that 115.82 so let's put in the 115.43 and see what that does to our p l so it goes up to 30 dollars there and then 115.43 here with three shares we would be at 30.51 so you can see how close they're getting there's only a difference of less than 40 cents there and I guess 37 cents. So it's getting very close. And as I said, at 115.82, these will both equal the same amount. I can go ahead and show you that right now. 
and then what will happen after that 115.82 is they'll it'll start making a uh, bigger difference to have that four shares. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but I just want to show you, like, let's say it goes to 117 before it stops me out. You can see that that extra share is making us more money than if we would have just stayed with the three shares. And that's the whole point of adding. If we get really lucky and this thing goes up, you know, uh, let's say the 125 or something like that before, and I'm talking about the 50 MA, so it's not that likely to happen, but just for fun. And you can see now we're making more than 10% uh, on top of the original trade by adding that one share. So pretty cool stuff. So let me know if this video was helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. As always, whether you're swing trading, day trading, options trading, going to every single trade with a plan, always take your stop losses, honor your profit target, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.